So you've probably heard about Harvard CS50 course, touted as the best introduction to programming. Harvard CS50. Harvard CS50 Introduction to Computer Science. Is really amazing. One of the best. The best online course I've ever taken. But you absolutely should not take CS50 in 2023. And here's why. Number one, CS50 was designed for a very specific audience. Students at Harvard University. Now Harvard is one of the most difficult universities in the world to get into with only a 4% acceptance rate. That means that out of the 100 super smart students that apply, only 4 students actually get in. That should tell you just how difficult it is. And while CSFT is now available for us normies around the world, the fact is, it was still built for the best of the best. And most of us just aren't used to that level of difficulty. It's like they'll teach you 1 plus 1 equals 2 in the lectures, and then they'll tell you to do advanced calculus for the homework. And uh, that might be a little bit exaggerated, but you get the point. In fact, most CS50 students quit in the very first week after a very difficult Mario assignment is given with very little material to go off. Now the learning curve here is very very steep. So leave a like and comment down below if you want me to continue making problem set solutions. So that's really the main problem. People aren't able to do CS50 assignments because they're just so difficult. And then they leave CS50. And the problem is they then leave programming altogether. They think, you know what, this is difficult, this isn't for me. But the fact is, most people can become amazing programmers, even if they can't do CS50. Now CS50X is meant to be an introduction to computer science, but fails to cater to the average beginner. Number two, it's long. The course itself is 12 weeks long and requires at least 10 to 20 hours of time commitment per week. Now most of us are either working or studying and probably don't have that much time to dedicate to a single course. The lectures themselves are between one and a half to two hours long. And speaking from experience, you'll probably need to rewatch each lecture at least twice to fully understand it and fully understand the concepts that are in it. Number three, not all the information in the course is gonna be relevant to you. Now, what do I mean by that? If you're doing CS50, chances are you're learning programming to try to get a job. And the fact is, CS50 teaches you a lot of theory and begins with a rather archaic programming language, C. So if you already know what programming field you want to get into, it might be better off if you just jump straight into learning that. So for example, let's say you want to become a game developer. Well, then you could simply learn C++ and C Sharp. Or you know you want to get into data science. You'll be better off just learning Python. Or let's say you want to get into web programming. Well, you could learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And the list just goes on and on. There's really no need for you to learn the intricate details and syntax of C, which is what CS50 teaches you. So what I'm saying is, if you already know what programming field you want to get into, it might not be worth taking CS50 because it's a much quicker and more efficient path to learning practical programming skills that'll help you land the job that you want. Okay, so I know I've been criticizing CS50 a lot in this video, but honestly, it's still an absolutely amazing course and it's perfect for most people. And here's why. For one, it's an extremely well-structured course. I've not seen another course on the internet that can take someone from zero to programming hero in just one course over the period of 12 weeks. It covers the basics of programming really, really well. In fact, it's a lot more than just a course. They call themselves a cultural touchstone, a lifestyle, and a spectacle. And it has a fantastic teacher. <laughs> and I mean that. It's taught by a very charismatic and handsome Professor David Mallon. He's hands down the best lecturer I've ever studied from. He has a way to get you really excited about coding and his teaching style just makes you want to learn more. There's something about him that's just so special and I'm sure you'll feel it when you start the course as well. He doesn't just teach you how to code, he teaches you how to think like a programmer and that's very very important. And yes, I won't deny that the course is very very difficult but that's actually a good thing. So every week there's a lecture, some additional videos to help and assignments also known as problem sets. Now these problem sets are very difficult and they're not at all straightforward. It's not like you do A and then you do B and then you do C. It's more like do this. How? Well, figure it out. So really, this course is not for everybody, but it's 100% worth trying, even if it's just to experience learning something from David Mallon. And you don't even have to think about it too much because it's 100% free, which means you can literally go to EDX right now, 
sign up and learn programming from scratch as a beginner. But wait, do that after this video. Oh, and when you go on the website, you're gonna see an option for a paid certificate, but that's really not necessary. You get a free certificate as well, even if you don't pay anything, and you get access to the full course and all its resources for 100% free. So there's really no reason to pay for the verified certificate, at least in my opinion. So if you're thinking about taking CS50, here's what you should know. In week zero, you'll learn about how computers work, binary, memory, and most importantly, a visual programming language called Scratch. So week zero is nice and light, you know, it's fun, it's enjoyable, and then you get to week one. So in weeks one to five, you learn about algorithms, data structures, and programming in C. But I have to give you a fair warning here. The jump from week zero to week one is huge. Week one itself, we have one of the most difficult problem sets called the Mario problem set and that can take you over 20 hours. So don't worry about it, everyone struggles over it and most people quit the course because of it. So I'm giving you a warning already, keep your head up, keep working on it and don't stress. So moving on, in week 6 to 11 you learn Python, SQL and programming for the web with HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And week 12 is the most exciting week of all because that's when you get to make your own project. So let's say you want to build a web app or a mobile app or a game it's completely up to you. And that's really what makes CS50 so special. It teaches you all the programming basics and teaches you practical skills that you can apply in real life to make your own program, to solve your own problems. And I've not seen another course on the internet do that. It's really amazing and trust me, you're gonna enjoy it. And I know the course can be difficult. And trust me, it is going to be difficult. But if you get through it, it's gonna be the most rewarding thing you ever do. It's not just about learning programming, it's about training your mind to be disciplined and not giving up when there's a challenge ahead of you. And I know it's gonna be a long and difficult ride. So if you wanna go through it with me, here's what I recommend. Number one, subscribe to this channel with notifications on. I'm gonna be posting videos every single week to help you with problem sets and give you general advice on the course. I know this sounds like self promo, but trust me, subscribe right now. Number two, don't obsess over more comfortable problem sets. What does that mean? So every week, you'll be given a choice whether you're gonna do less comfortable problem sets, more comfortable problem sets, or both. So my advice is if you've never done programming before in any capacity, stick to the less comfortable problem sets. It's gonna save you some sanity. Number three, don't rush it. Now most problem sets can't be solved in a single one hour sitting. No matter how smart you are, that just can't be done. Now trying to do that will just make you more stressed and disappointed with your own progress. Number four, and probably the most important one of all, is enjoy the process. Because the man who loves walking will walk further than the man who loves the destination. Now my last piece of advice is to fall in love with the like button and smash it. Thank you guys for watching and bye David!